So if you're uh, into security on your mobile phone, you should be using two-factor authentication. But the problem is now you have to get an app like uh, uh, Google's uh, two-factor authentication app that I use. And you have to play with a lot of codes and you have to think about it. And it's a pain in the ass, <laughs> to put it mildly. Um, well, this company, Clef, has a new idea. They uh, are using your mobile phone in a new way to let you log into things. And uh, I find it very intriguing. Who are you? My name is Brennan Byrne. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Clef, replacement for username and passwords. And uh, I'm a startup, accidental startup founder, someone who uh, everyone thought would be funny to send to a technical class as a dare, and uh, sort of fell into building things uh, with code and ended up building something kind of cool. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, most of my friends don't really use good passwords, uh, and none they, of mine do. And they don't use uh, two-factor authentication. Right. I, I do. I, I have long-ass passwords. I use LastPass. I, I have a really complicated weird password to good. plug in. That that's great. Good to hear. Well, hopefully it doesn't get hacked. <laughs> but I'm and I have a different password for each system, right. each app that I sign into. Because uh, if somebody breaks into Facebook, I don't want them to get into Gmail, right? Right. And vice versa, and it, particularly in Gmail, because if they get into Gmail, then they can really start uh, playing right. playing with you like they did with the Wired uh, reporter. Right. Matt that, Honan. Yeah, Yeah. And so uh, most people don't use two factor authentication because it's a pain. So. What do you do to solve this mess? <laughs> yeah, so the issue is twofold. The one is that most people aren't using all of that. You're yeah. very rare to have all of the good best practices. I have a lot to lose, right? Because right. right. if somebody breaks into my systems, they can uh, have fun with seven million people. <laughs> Absolutely, exactly, exactly. You, uh, you're in that upper echelon where it really matters and you're doing a really good job. But uh, the few, there are a few of us who use all the best security practices, and it's a pain, and we hate it, but uh, we do it because it's important. And then there are other people who don't use it because they can't figure it out, or they don't have the time, or don't have the energy. So, but the problem is that over the next five years, we need to come up with a better solution. A password pits our memory against machine brute force, yeah. and Amazon just keeps ma making that brute force cheaper. And so every attacker in the world can be bombarding your identity with more and more computing power every year. You know, Moore's Law has made sure we're going to lose this battle. Yeah, my brother, who's a, a, a sysop up in uh, Oregon, uh, tells me now you need a 12-character password that has no dictionary. Well, he doesn't care that it has dictionary words, but it has to be pretty unique and not right. ably, uh, able to be hacked. I, I have a, a passphrase that I use on different right. uh, services that I replace different letters in. It's, it's a good solution. Uh, at Black Hat this year, there was a really good demo of how using dictionary words, if you know that someone uses a passphrase, you can break it just as easily as a password. But since fewer people use passphrases, it's still much stronger. But in general, it's just a dying way of protecting ourselves. It doesn't really protect us from computers. It only protects us from other humans. And so the question is, how are we going to transition away from that? Over the next few years, how do we find a better way to log in? And we think that our smartphones are the answer. They can do all of the cryptography we need to keep ourselves safe. And we can give them sort of the user experience that makes it easier than a password, so that your memory is less burdened. And so what we've built with Clef is um, that system, the system yeah. we want to use to replace passwords. So I, I've loaded it. And uh, let me see if I can get it up. So it, it's just a, a thing that puts a little graph on right. it, right? We call it the Clef Wave. Yeah. And it's an animated barcode basically. And how do you use it? So let, let's try to log in something yeah, here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so when I go to a website, this is just a demo site that yeah. uses Clef, hit the Login With Your Phone button, and it's going to show the Clef wave here. And that's yeah. telling me, telling Clef where you're trying to log in and what computer. So the demo Clef site on my laptop. So Rocky, maybe uh, switch to the camera here. So. Yeah. So what I'm doing, uh, yeah, God, right. here, let me uh, pull the yeah. camera, pull it over here. So here. all I do is aim my uh, phone at that wave, 
and what what happens? It'll so uh, the phone knows who you are. There, and it it's just gonna did. there you go. And it just logs me up. in there. Exactly. Your phone is sending a message to the website of who you are, saying yeah. Robert's trying in to to log into Brennan's laptop on the GetClef demo site, and it's happening because the wave on my computer was telling the phone where to send the message, and the phone knows who you are. And in the back end, all of that is being wrapped with public key cryptography, which means that there's a key on your phone that is unique to you, and it never leaves your phone. So every message that's being sent through our network, everything we store about you, is totally public. If someone reads, hacks into our database and reads everything we store, you're still completely safe. And that's a powerful difference from passwords, where even if you have the best habits in the world, if Twitter gets hacked and loses the password, you still lose your identity. You know, there's two sides to the responsibility. Whereas in the Clef system, it's just on the phone and we never touch anything sensitive. When I signed up for Clef, I had to put my uh, name and my email address in there and it sent me an email to right. that address that I had to confirm, right? Right, and that's basically, we just want to make sure it's really you and unique and that when you sign up for services that we can like pass that on so that if you sign up for a service with Clef, you don't have to reconfirm emails every time. Yeah. Uh, we can sort of have a verified you that you can use wherever you go. Now, uh, a lot of people are using the Facebook button to log into sites, Absolutely. right? And that's, it works similarly, but it, what's insecure about that compared to Clef? So there are two real things that the market has done to deal with passwords as a problem. And one is the aggregators. So the last pass you talked about before or a social login where I hide all of my accounts behind one password. And that makes it a lot easier to log into places, but it also means that there's a lot m more of a burden on that one password. So if I lose my Facebook password, I'm losing access to hundreds of accounts or dozens of accounts um, instead of just logging, losing access to Facebook, which I don't really care about. Yeah. And the same with a password manager. If I lose my LastPass password, it's a much bigger deal than if I lost uh, my Facebook password. Oh, yeah. And again, as passwords are becoming a weaker medium, that matters because instead of needing to crack 100 passwords to get into all of your accounts, I only need to crack one. Um, so that's, that's the main problem. Facebook also has the problem that when it launched the button, it spread incredibly quickly, largely because Farmville and Zynga were doing so well through the Facebook platform, and everyone wanted to be collecting that data and posting to your wall about the apps you were using. Yeah. And two things happened. First, everyone re rejected it. It sort of, uh, users walked away from the button because it was over posting. And Facebook got rid of a lot of those permissions. So it was less valuable to the sites because they couldn't get permission to post to the wall. And the users didn't trust it. And so it rose very quickly initially and then has really tapered off in how much people use it because but there's it's still a, a, a stat came right. out yesterday, 40% of all these one button logins are with Facebook. Absolutely. I actually like using the Facebook button because uh, with a lot of the newer apps, they instantly get my you, my profile, my right. name, my phone number, you know, whatever I give it access to, because there's a whole list of things yeah, yeah. that you can say, no, don't give this to that <laughs> Facebook, you know, don't right. give this to this third party app or, or uh, yeah, give it all, you know, my birthday and my, my friends and right. all that fun stuff. Right? And there's a lot of value in the social aspects of Facebook. And certain apps, it makes a huge difference. You know, Spotify really has built a business around having social music listening that is different than what came before it. Yeah. And so I think that social login isn't, or connecting social accounts, social experiences, isn't going away. But making sure we connect them safely is going to change because that connection right now is all through that one password, which is pretty tenuous. Yeah. Well, when I log into my bank, I don't really need them to see all my Facebook friends <laughs> right. or my birthday, right? Right. And uh, nowhere today where you're shopping or banking or you know anywhere where there's really sensitive information uses Facebook yeah. um, because trust and because uh, they don't need all of that information. Yeah. What was the challenge in building this business and, and maybe how do you monetize with this? Because I, yeah. I, I didn't see that I paid anything for this thing. <laughs> you right? didn't. Uh, so it, the challenge in building a business like this really is that there's a chicken or egg problem. We work with websites to make their login safer and then their users get to use Clef to log in. And when we first started, that meant that we had no users and no sites. And there was a real problem of every site we talked to wanted to know if people were already using it. And users would download the app and would try to support us, you know, our friends, and say, there's nowhere where I could use it. 
Um, so two things have happened with that. The first is that um, we found a community in WordPress that would install it with a one-click plugin on their own website. Yeah. And we've seen thousands of sites come through that where just because the installation was so easy, we were able to pick up the site and start doing their logins. Uh, the other thing is that a group of our users uh, built an open source Chrome extension in December that uh, let you use Clef for Facebook and Gmail and everywhere else. And it acts like a password manager, but all of your passwords are encrypt encrypted using the same tech we use to log you in. So uh, it's called Waltz. And it, when you install it in Chrome, it looks like Clef works on every website you visit. But it's actually, there's an extra little step there that makes it to the password we're sort of piggybacking. Yeah. And that gets rid of some of the security, um, but it lets you have sort of the consistent user experience, the, the optimal cloud experience. Yeah. Uh, do you have any competitors in this space? I, uh, I assume that, uh, well, I know Microsoft was trying to do passwords with pictures, and uh, there's a lot of uh, different ideas on how to solve this uh, password problem. Right? Absolutely. So there are a lot of people who are doing different things, like different ways people are tackling this. The password managers and other two-factor solutions are what people most commonly cite as sort of our competition. So RSA has those old hardware dongles. Yep, I have one on my key. <laughs> yeah. uh, actually, it's at home because exactly. I don't carry it around. <laughs> and it's pretty bad. It's also really expensive. Yeah. Um, Duo has been doing a good job inside of enterprises where they do two-factor on your phone, so sort of bring your own device version of RSA. Um, and there are a couple of other smaller companies that have innovative ways to build on top of the password, where you still type a password and then something else happens. Uh, we really think that the passwordless approach is better, <laughs> that if we can get rid of your passwords entirely, we'll do a better job of getting more people to actually adopt a secure solution. Yeah. Um, and so you know, in terms of are there people competing for, to make login safer? Absolutely. Um, is there anyone doing what we're doing? No. Um, we've taken a unique approach. Um, we also aren't doing the biometric things. So, yeah. well, um, Apple is betting on my fingerprint right. Right, with the fingerprint sensor, and they're going to log in the future versions of iOS. They're going to log me in automatically to apps based right. on my fingerprint. And we love that because we get to use Touch ID. So right now, there's a four-digit PIN on the app when you open it to make sure if you lose it or steal it, you have enough time to report it, like a credit card. Um, but in once iOS 8 is out, we can actually replace that with a fingerprint, and we would love to do that. And biometrics make so much more sense on your phone because we don't have to store them in the cloud. Right. And the problem with storing them in the cloud is if, if the cloud ever loses them, if Facebook ever loses my fingerprints, I can't reset them. You know, I only get one set. So biometrics on the phone make a lot of sense and help us a lot because if your phone is secure, then Clef makes a better case. Um, and we're really, we believe in that and are excited about it. But we don't think that biometrics as sort of a cloud-based solution is the right way to go. And so uh, Clef can do a really good job of making that local biometric work everywhere else. Very cool. Um, for websites, I, I saw Word, you know, our yeah. demo did use WordPress. How do you uh, and um, yeah. uh, how do, how do you integrate uh, Clef into e existing apps and websites? So it's an OAuth two integration, which is the same as a login with Facebook or a login with Twitter button. Um, that's a spec that's pretty standard for the industry. Uh, not perfect, but it's the one that developers are most familiar with. So that's what we've gone with as our sort of default integration. Uh, for someone who's new to it, it takes about an hour to get it all set up. It's one line of JavaScript in your front end to make our button. And then basically, you just have to handle the user information when we send it to you. Yeah. Um, so very quick. If you've already done a login with Facebook button, it takes 10 minutes. Um, there's a Ruby gem that you can just say, install Clef, and it works. So very cool. Very, very quick, very easy. Very cool. Uh, I'm out of questions. Uh, <laughs> tell me a little bit about your team and how you got funded to do this. Yeah, so there are three of us working on this. We met at Pomona College. Um, when we were all studying there. Um, we, I, I was working at Adobe in a summer internship uh, right after Steve Jobs wrote the letter saying that Flash would never be on an iPhone. Yeah. So my job was to identify people based on their phone uh, without Flash uh, for advertisers. Yeah. And um, during that summer, LinkedIn lost all of their passwords. And I realized that our phones could do a really good job of identifying ourselves. So I went back to school, recruited the two smartest engineers I knew to uh, actually build it. Um, I worked with a professor whose focus was on usability, uh, security through usability, um, 
and it ended up being my thesis as well. Uh, and when we graduated, we raised a little bit of money from friends and family to um, build it out, and we've been using that over the last year, and we're finishing up a round right now that'll be uh, a little bit bigger. Very cool. Yeah. Awesome. Where do we get it? Uh, it's available in the Apple App Store or uh, Android Play, and Waltz is getwaltz.com if you want to use it everywhere else. So getclaff.com and getwaltz.com. Very cool. Thank you so much for coming in. Absolutely. Really neat. Thank you for having me.